Uh, no question about it. A very fierce campaigner who will run to the right of President Trump while looking to capitalize on the former president's Ohio success. Josh Mandel came out of the gate in his campaign announcement for the U.S. Senate and made a hard right. Watching the sham and unconstitutional impeachment has made my blood boil, he wrote, and motivated me to run for U.S. Senate, adding he'll go to Washington to fight for former President Trump's agenda and, in his words, pulverize the uniparty, that cobble of Democrats and Republicans. A two-term state treasurer, Mandel challenged Sherrod Brown for his Senate seat in 2012. In 2016, he backed Marco Rubio in the Republican presidential primary, but after President Trump's victory, became a staunch supporter and looked to mirror Trump's Ohio campaign strategy in a short-lived 2018 rematch with Brown, going all in against liberal Democrats and the media. I'm the type of leader who will uh, take on forces in the media. Shame on radical liberals in the media. Radicals in the media. Shame on liberals in the media. This is his classic campaign tactic. He's going to paint himself as the ultimate Trump supporter, but he's got at least one other in the race that's going to be doing this, and that's Jane Timken, the GOP chair for Ohio, who has resigned that seat so that she can consider a run for the Senate seat. If Timken enters the race, and indications are she will, Sutton says it creates an interesting scenario if you have two or more hopefuls in that far right lane. Will there be a split of candidates all seeking the support of Trump supporters allowing perhaps another candidate like a state senator Matt Dolan or Steve Stivers to maybe come out ahead as the more moderate Republican. Now, this also plays into fundraising. Mandela is starting off with a rather impressive $4.3 million war chest. Yes, but corporate sponsors and PACs have already signaled after January 6th that they will be scaling back contributions to those candidates that push the extremes. Live in Shaker Heights, John Kosick, News 5.